the one wheel pint. What can I say? It's an amazing board. It's a board I took across the country with me. I put over 500 miles on it, rode it in all sorts of conditions. I extended it through a VNR install to be able to put a battery on the back, which I strapped to the fender. And it's really an amazing ride. But it's time for an upgrade. The One Wheel XR. More range, larger wheel, more speed, and really just a different riding style. But just like most things, I'm gonna customize it. I'm gonna walk you through the different upgrades I'm making to my XR to make it my own. First up, this Vega tire has to go. Has much too square of a profile for me and I want something a little more carvy, so I'm going with the Hoosier Whisper. Next up to protect the bottom of the board, we're gonna use float plates. These will protect the battery compartment and the controller compartment. Float plates are custom bent pieces of plastic that self lubricate. They help you slide along the ground or along curbs and generally give you another layer of protection. Speaking of protection, keeping the rails of the XR nice can be done by using sidekicks. Sidekicks are a stick-on vinyl type material that will actually protect the sides from any scratches, dents, dings, or anything like that. They also give you the ability to change the color of your board, in this case, going all black. Speaking of going all black, the wood grain of the foot pads just doesn't match the aesthetic that I want, so I'm going to be blacking them out with an oil-based marker from Sharpie. Just with these few changes, you start to see a real difference in the aesthetic of the board. The next few updates all have to kind of go on at once. I'm going to be putting on foot pads from Electric Bigfoot. These have some concave shape to them. They make your feet a little bit more comfortable. A half fender from Flight Fins and a single flight fin that my rear foot will hook underneath to help carving and staying locked in on trails. I'm also putting on a Float Life fender delete that will just kind of wrap up the aesthetic and make it look a little cleaner around the tire. Then it's time to throw on a cover for the charge port. This is a tethered one, so it won't get lost, as well as a cover for the power button to keep dirt and grime out. And that's it. My XR is ready for its first charge and its first mile. I know this board is gonna be a crazy amount of fun. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. I'll see you guys on the trails.